Imperials. Why are you milling about like a pack of slack-jawed mongrels? Form a line! Now! Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act cannot and will not go unanswered. As loyal subjects of the Empire who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well. There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks, cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your home. You, you fast. <laughs> the Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions, and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Don't worry, I will be back before you know it. Listen to the Elders while I'm away, and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. We thank you for your cooperation. Rest assured that this will all be over very soon, once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby time. There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. And we shall. But before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited. Nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? Pray return to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight! Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. I know that. I do. It's just... When I saw them rounding those people up... Look, if anything happens, anything at all, you'd better call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all.
Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. To stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live! Or has that, too, been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? You were Lord Heon's retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it, and trying will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence, but it's all we got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it, it doesn't help, all right? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elder, your face. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles, too much lost, our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are as salt in our wounds. They only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord prays you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Why would you... After everything.
Forgive me for making you search. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind. That they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good, we are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, 
When those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. That you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen, it heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. An Imperial airship. It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. There you are. What happened? Are the villagers all right? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotsuyu governs Dome, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. 
Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos' death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! Yugiri, wait! What now?